As chefs, we need good kitchen equipment, and most of the time they cost a liver. Let's see if we can find some in shape. I'm opening the app right now. We have woman stuff over here, but that's... We are not interested in that. Kitchen equipment. Let's see if we can find... I mean, okay, you didn't find anything, but most popular, we see some stuff over here. The first thing I see is this grater, which... I don't think you can really mess a grater up. Let's see if they can mess a grater up. We have some other recommendations here too, but one is enough, okay? Okay, we have some cool stuff. Apple Corer, which, I mean, you know what? I found a metal one. It appears to be a little bit cheaper and smaller, but let's try this one instead, I guess. We have, we, we do have a lot of stuff over here, I have to say. Oh, like this one over here. You should be able to scoop like potatoes with these hard potatoes. Hey, you know what? Okay, this knife looks like it's okay quality to me. Of course, we can't really speak before we get the knife itself, but I will try this. You know what? I will try this. I don't think you can really mess up with whisks, right? But that's kind of the question today. How bad can Shane equipments be? Because we will be trying this at home too. Over here, I found a stainless steel garlic press. Looks good quality to me, I have to say. It is quite on the a little bit expensive part, you know? I'm buying it. <laughs> I guess it's that easy to sell me something. Lemon squeezer. You know, I actually don't have anything like this at home. I have some other types of lemon squeezers. If it's bad and if you squeeze hard enough, you're gonna break it. You can break it. Okay, you know what? I'll try it. Also, I am actually in the kitchen and dining equipment over here. And we have a lot of stuff like dumpling makers, which I don't feel like making a dumpling just to test that. So I'm not gonna be buying that. Okay, you know what? I am going to be trying this. Tongs. I wanna try this, I wanna see how good of a quality it is. Let's wait for them to arrive and let's see how good they're gonna be. Okay, well, I'm glad to say that we do have the stuff over here now. I did wash these in the washing machine because these are supposed to be washing machine safe. That's why we do have some stains, I didn't wipe them properly. Don't judge me on that. But it's good that they are actually dishwasher safe. So it's not like really, really cheap metal. So today's test will be in this old apple. It's a little bit old. I think the first thing we need to test is this apple corer, apple core remover, which it does feel quite nice, quite okay. Only, I'm gonna show it in this camera, only over here it feels like, oh, see, it's already bending. Let's just core this fast. Oof. Okay, it's, it's actually, it did work. My cutting table is moving a little bit because I didn't put a paper or towel, anything under it. I didn't think we need it. Yes, it did core over here, as we can see. It did struggle a little bit, I can say, but it's very nice. Let's actually use this potato. This is normally potato cutter, but I'm going to be doing my whole test on this apple, as I said today, because it's all I don't want to waste food. There you go. Okay, so this is doesn't seem too bad but it's not too bad this one too I can say and this one is also like easily bendable I can say the handle is nice though the handle is fine the corner passes the test this one also passes the test well we have this thing over here you make forms with this one on apples on potatoes Obviously, okay, this one is kind of weird because it's too big, but let's try this. Oh, this one also feels like... This one also, look, okay, so it did, it does bend. This will be giving you a hard time if it bends so quickly. This is a soft apple, mind you. The second time was a little bit better. I've used way better than this one, but it does it does actually bend way too much. Like this is this is not too good, I can say. Okay, our garlic press. Garlic press is usually for garlic, but today, as I said, we will try to use this apple as much as we can. So let me use the garlic press to press this apple out. Oh, it's a little bit juicy. I hope the camera doesn't get wet, but Okay, there you go. I mean, of course, the apple is really juicy, so a lot of juice came out from it, but it did press it good. Uh, oh, wait! It actually does come out! Okay, so this is actually a really good garlic press then for the price. 
This is our whisk. It's really, really small. Okay, look at my hand compared to it. My hand is like way, way bigger than it. I'm going to put a picture. I thought it said that this whisk was bigger. But how much is this? Like what? 10 centimeters or something like that? It's not too big. I don't know. You can't really whisk a lot. I don't know if they lied to me. I don't know if it actually said that this was going to be this small. If it is, then it's my fault and this does pass the test. But if it's not, then this one fails the test. Okay, these are pasta tongs over here. Uh, so this one is mainly used for pasta. Pasta like spaghetti. It's to hold the spaghetti and make a good form out of it. The material seems really good, I can say. It does feel like really similar from the other ones I've used. And of course we don't have spaghetti today, but well, I'm just gonna pick some <laughs> apples up, I guess. But yes, so I definitely think that this passes the test, especially for the price point we spent. Let's just test the grater with an apple. I'm gonna be getting the whole apple actually here, just to see not too bad but not too good i can say the metal does feel like it's really really cheap well this one's also also like cheap i think three euros when you push the apple the metal gets pressed back so it kind of stops you from grating the apple a little bit let's try this side Same with this side, you can see it actually like stops but yes this grater did fail the test it was a really cheap grater but Spend a little bit more money, buy a better grater because this is going to be pain in the butt using it. Okay, last but not least will be our lemon press. This metal, I don't like it. First of all, it's kind of weird, okay. This one actually seems like it's just a tight bit big for our lemon press here, but let's press it. Oh, well, all right. It does seem like it's stopping after one point. Let me try to press it a little bit harder. I don't think it's gonna press it anymore. So I'm just going to try to squeeze it with hand to show you if it does. It does have a little bit more juices. Obviously not the best lemon press I've used in my life. I think I need to still give it a pass though because it was like really cheap and you get a basic lemon press. What do you want for that price, I guess? I was happy with most of the products today that we got from Shane and they were all cheap. The only thing I hated was this. Let me know your experience with Shane.